Hey guys, welcome to Testing Academy. And in this video, we are basically going to revise our API testing interview question and answers. And uh, rest is like a design pattern for an API that I have already discussed with you guys, right? Uh, another thing is people ask you about the CRUD. CRUD is nothing but a create, retrieve, update, and delete. Uh, for create, you are using STP method post. Uh, retrieve, you are using get. Update, you are using po. Uh, patch you can also use so put and patch delete for using delete these are stpp method and i'll explain you one by one also first you need to understand the uri and endpoint which are basically the core of stpp uh, you have seen this url many times right here you will see this is the domain of the user this is the stpp protocol uh, which you are using it can be stpps for a secure version right uh, here you are seeing the location of the resource and here basically you are seeing the query param for example a is equal to b these are query param and hey these are path param i'll explain the difference also path param is nothing but for example you have slash api slash user as a curly braces right so this is param dynamically added uh, parameters these are path params with query is nothing but a q uh, you will see question mark a is equal to b this is basically querying the server i want for example name is equal to pramod this is like a querying the parameter right so name is equal to pramod is basically means query param whereas path param is nothing but i want pramod slash so basically i want all uh, in the pramod folder i want everything here so you can ask something like this major difference generally people uh, have uh, ask this question uh, query versus path param another difference uh, if you see here right query params and this is path param you are seeing now come to the 11th question which is basically what is json right json is nothing but it's a java uh, javascript object notation it's a nothing but a key value pair lightweight way to send the client to server messages cool uh, you will see this uh, curly bra braces which is nothing but a json object here is a key which is age and the value value is 25 key value key value key value that's it and if you see this which is object if you see this square bracket which is array in in json right and here you will see all this uh, this is boolean right different we have in we have a different data types in json so you have boolean uh, string is there number is there right app uh, array you have already seen this is array square brackets you are seeing right this is an array of angular and for each uh, object is nothing but this curly braces that you are seeing so client browser basically sends a json to the server json understands it and reply back that's the core funda of overall rest that we are understanding json data type i have told you uh, json we have structured and values so uh, generally you will see objects and an array array is nothing but a square brackets and uh, keys can be string number value uh, true false boolean null value and a structured nested i think this is a really optional i think I, I have never seen it so this is a traditional structure that i am showing you right now right uh, we have a object we have a array also here we have numbers we have string right we have nulls and we have values so all the param all these are available so interviewer generally ask these questions okay what is stpp let's understand uh, again stpp is nothing but a uh, hypertext transfer protocol transfer a message from a one to another using the internet that we have seen right uh, stpp is a protocol medium used by rest web services to communicate between the client and server this is really important okay uh, client to server we want to communicate we are using stpp behind the scene uh, in stpp we have a concept of response header and uh, request headers that you have seen in the chrome dev tools right and this is nothing but a key value pair and it's just a meta information for example whenever client client is sending the request to the server it's basically says sends a request header and a response header is reply back okay so this is going this is coming headers headers are nothing but meta information like uh, what is the content type uh, location ip about the servers and other things so this is the traditional stp method that i am discussing about we have get post port path method all this will be explained in this video uh, important versions are for example stpp right now we are using two secure one which is stpps three is also coming we have uh, request and response we have stpp status code which you need to understand 
okay sky scanner api again i have told you ui team basically makes uh, the changes sends the stpp uh, sends an api to the uh, indigo airline sends a response back all these are happening on the json objects so we are sending the json objects here you need to understand payload response request header and code all this if you are able to understand clear api testing is pretty much clear to you right now a uh, couple of times people ask you about this concept which is pojo pojo is nothing but a pale plain object uh, java uh, plain old java object what hap what's happening is uh, client to server you have to send for example client basically handles this is written in java and they are basically have certain key value pair information they need to convert the this information to the json object right so they need to create a pojo class okay so first client will basically create this pojo class this will be converted to json object json object will travel to the server and here you will deserialize deserialized and do the magic and after that it will again convert it into the json object and send it here so that's what's happening right now see this example ui team pojo object is created converted to json object and after send to server server will again deserialize use it uh, use it here send a json object uh, converted back and client can use it so overall json objects are lightweight that's why we are sending them through the apis right so this is really important and this is the core concept that you need to tell for so in networking we are basically sending the file stream or you can say json objects uh, input streams mostly because these are lightweight and easy to transfer through internet or network or the stpp rather than sending the direct pojos and other things we are sending these data awesome all right right stpp status code let's go through it uh, stpp status code are nothing but the status code server sends to the client that what is the response of the request that he has made uh, if it is sending you a 100 related information it basically mean information success for example if you are able to create a new student on the server you will get a 200 series uh, you will see 300 for redirection 400 bas basically a client error something bad you have done and this is a server error for example uh, here success is there 400 you have seen user not found right 401 user account is logged so all these are client related errors right and 500 is nothing but server error and something is wrong with this server uh let's uh, do uh, what is a uh, resource in the request i think resource i have already told you right everything in stpp is a resource where you can send your text file you can send your html file right now you are seeing html file hypermedias like documentation image and other things are already all these are resources in the rest that we are sending which tool we can use to make a rest a rest api calls i think we know that api testing using postman we have covered right so postman can be used uh, it supports soap also right now it supports graphql also which is next one and it supports all of them stpp methods let's uh, go through them different stpp methods we i have explained you right uh, we have get head post port delete trace connect and options uh, you have to know mostly related to the crud that i have told you which is post get patch and put and delete those are five five are more, more important get is used to request a web page right web page is nothing but html file which is a resource in stpp so you can use that head is basically to just get the header information that's it or the meta information about the page uh, put is basically to store a page right now it's saying uh, post is basically you to append or create a new resource delete and deleting trace and other things are optional i mean you can read about them no one ask the question related to it yes this is really important and this is the probably the uh, last one get basically request a resource right get uh, doesn't have any body uh response can have a body right and other things like important and cacheable it can be cacheable so i am important i will explain in the next question what is this so it is yes as of now okay head uh, post i think i have told you it's basically used to create a new resource right uh, you can send a body you can receive a body and it's a uh, post can be cacheable yes in this case and put delete and other things i think i have told you this is just to update a resource if it's already available it is not available it will create a new resource patch is just to use uh, you to do a partial update and if resource is not available patch doesn't work right so in delete you just delete deleting the resource which is available and options basically give you list of option stpp methods are supported 
connect and trace are i think uh, these are proxy related and other things uh, generally people don't ask about it okay so as of now we have covered enough questions in this part and i'll see you in the next video i think it's a really really long video uh, all the notes are already available please make sure uh, if you have any other question do uh, comment down i'll happy to help thanks for watching this video i'll see you in the next one bye